You better turn up. We got five moves. Each move is 45 seconds with 15 second rest. We're gonna do two rounds of this. We're gonna start on the elbows. So press the shoulders down, tuck your tailbone. One knee in, one leg out. And switch. So we really want to kind of round into that low back. Keeping the eyes lifted. If you need to, you can come all the way down onto your back. Have a little pause when the leg goes to the ground here. Pulling up and in before it's going up and in the bottom. Knee towards your shoulder. Seconds here. Switch. Switch again. Switch again. There's just two more of these. Alright, on to hands and knees. I want your hands by your knees. We're going to be pulling the knees toward the chest here. So feet pressing the ground. Feels the hands pressing the ground. You're pulling the knees up like you're sliding up your arms. Make some trouble. The breathing will be exhale to bring them upward. So I have my feet together. My hands are right by my knees. I'm rounding my back here. Slide up your forearms. Leg drop. Hands can be under the hips if needed. Long legs up. Squeeze legs together. Lower down. And then lift up. And then we'll add on to this as we go here. Next time you go down, I want you to jack your feet open if you can. And take them up. Options here. Elbow into the shoulder. You can stack the knees. Right, and lift up. Or you can stack the feet or scissor the legs. I'm gonna scissor. We're just gonna hold here. So I feel like there's a, a wall in front of you and a wall behind you. So push up and in and open your chest up here. And then push from the underside upward. Now adding rotation, spread this arm through. All right, rotate through and reach up. We can do a double thread. One, two. So you really crank through here. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Reach backward. There's no going back to your own. Feel my knee. Still work that old knee. All right, let's do the other side. I'm going to get crazy here. How about you? Like the hot head here. Stack, bend wherever you want to go with your legs. Like the All right, remember wall in front, wall behind you. You're on a balance beam, pushing the hips forward. Opening the chest up. Pushing right, so underside oblique is working here. It's your stabilizer. And then we're going to take this hand, give me a double thread through, and then reach up. Thread through. And the double one gets you just go. Crank, crank. Pick it up. Try not to drop your hip though, right? 
right here, keep it lifted. Alright, that was five. Start from the top on your elbows. Tuck your tailbone, right? Push that ball back on the mat. In, in, one in, and switch. So rounding in the low back, shoulders pressing down. Really look to the floor. I want to pick up the pace here. Slow it down. Slow. Tuck under. And even more. In, use the support to the in. No going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past. This pace is the end. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. On your knees. All right, this is the knees to the chest. Different, right? It's a different feeling, so it's just really great to just do things that are different all the time. Hands by the knees. Stay with just dropping the legs and lifting the legs. Brace the core. This is all that like deep internal core muscles, right? Your transverse muscles that hold your guts in here. Add a little lift if you want to. Control the down movement. Don't go too fast there. surrounded by people and I love to see how you react to the workouts that I give you so if you want to send me a video send me a picture you know my information is down below you can connect with me via Instagram or Facebook I, I do I respond to everybody right those of you out there all right let's add a drop here dropping the hip lifting the hip
relax. Woo. Oh, I do want to give you one more movement here. I like strength and stillness. How about you? You like strength and stillness? Good. I think it's a great tool in our toolbox here. Come onto your back. Press your back into the mat, knees over your hips, and then reach the arms. Put your shoulders on the ground. So lift up and then drop them down. Feet at knee height. We call this one dead bug, right? Although I've never seen a bug look like this when they're dead. Usually they're flat from me hitting it. All right, hold it. So, so we tend to have that arch in the back, which is great, we need it there, but when we're really trying to brace and get deeper in the core, we want to tuck the tailbone up and hit that transverse abdominal and the obliques, which are on your sides here. So you exhale, press it and pull it in, not pushing it out here. Now can you extend your right leg and your left arm? It only goes low as you can without like giving me super arch, right? So I want to tuck under. So maybe the leg is a little higher, maybe the arm is. Hold it. And then every time you exhale, push into the mat, bring it back up to your dead bug position. And then give me left leg and the right arm. Press into the mat. This knee wants to come in, right? Your body is smart, it knows how to cheat. Keep it over the hip. My body will cheat too. Bring it up. Hands behind the knees. Lift your head and shoulders up here. So curl up for a minute. Look at your thighs. All right, so you're kind of relaxed in this position here. Now, hold on. Rock up. Hold this. And then open the chest. Maybe let go. And feel that nice. Oh, turn it on. Maybe you can extend out. We're in a boat pose here. Glue your legs together if you can. Squeeze them together. Just 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Two and one. Alright, let's do a little mermaid. Stretch out the core a little bit here. Come to your elbow side, stretch, open up. Alright, so open up the chest. And then bring it around. Stop in the front. Roll it up. Let's do the other side. Oh, great job today. We got it in, got it done. Full body. You got cardio strength, you got your core. What more could you ask for? Roll it up, give me straddle stretch. Lift up the chest, elbow inside, give yourself a side, and then when you're ready to turn, knee to nose, or knee, nose to the knee. Lift up, elbow, side. And turn nose to knee. If you want to go for your quad stretch, heel to the butt. You can lean back, you can lay down, you can turn away. Switch the legs. So I really do hope you guys are taking good care of your body from the inside and the outside. You know, we're working on the outside, but so much goes on inside. And what we do on the outside and surround ourselves with affects everything inside of our body. So the people we are around, you know, our environment, you know, if we're outside or if we're different areas. But here's a great tip. Here's a tip for you. So I know when you go on a vacation and you're at the beach and you're walking on the sand, you just feel so amazing after you've been on a trip like that. But you can be, it's grounding, right? Your feet are grounding into the earth. So you can do that at home no matter where you are. You may not have a beach near you, but go barefoot in your grass, right? And just either sit on it or stand on it, maybe do a sun salutation. But ground your feet into the earth, right? You can get great energy from there. Or if you're like, that's crazy, Michelle, don't do it. But Try something different, right? You never know. 
You know, I'm a girl from the middle of nowhere in North Dakota, so some things I believe, some things I may not, but that, you know, I believe that there's energy. We, give and we, we definitely give and we, and we take. All right, you guys, big inhales, reach up to the sky. Pull it down through your heart. Let's do one more of those. Big inhale, fill the lungs up, fill it up with gratitude because I tell you, I'm so grateful for you today. Ooh, grateful for a change of environment, aren't you? Right? All right, so change your environment because sometimes it can change your mind. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next full body.